Welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. Right down here is actually a small, tiny little bunker. And if you want to see the proof of that, I'll just do that. And that is concrete. Well, it is actually um, a spot where the Germans had a lot of secrets during the Second World War. And we are here to see if we can find some of them. It's History Hunter Eagle and, and Eagle Eyes. Eagle. Hope you're going to join us. Eagle Eyes, he does a lot of scouting on Google Earth. And he came across... What did you come across? I saw a little opening to a gun placement. He said he sees a little opening in the ground for what he thinks could be an old gun emplacement, which is actually yeah. fully buried. So we are picking up on that little trace. Um, you have to excuse me, I've had, I'm in the third day of having COVID, but I'm still out here having fun. Eagle Eye, he just got rid of his little COVID stuff, oh, but for me, uh, it's a bit different. But we are out here in full force and nothing's going to stop us. But we are going to go to the position of that little hole and I can't wait to see if he is right and there is actually something interesting there. It's in this area that he has spotted some kind of little slot or something. There it is! There it is! Yes, it is! Is it? Yes. That's the slot. Oh, it goes all the way down here. Wow, let's come up here. Yes! That's what you saw. Are you effing me? Wow, that is absolutely 100% correct, young man. And the door, it's open. You won't believe what's down here. And I'm actually very surprised that we found it that easy. Holy cow. Okay, I got a grip of what's going on here. I think I know what's going on. Come on, let's go down there. I fully get it. We thought we were onto something totally different than this, but I will show you something really cool here. See that? Looks like a path. It was not a path. It was actually a narrow railroad track path. It's not a walking path. It used to be for narrow track railroad uh, wagons that the Germans had. And what did they use that for? Well, the answer is just behind us because the tracks continues and goes straight in there. That is absolutely fascinating. We heard about this place, but we weren't sure if we were looking in the right direction, but Eli's really did. This is an absolute incredible uh, position. And what you are about to see is actually very rare because this thing here is even, you can't see it here, it is fully fully buried, but you can actually enter through the munition wagon train area. No. And uh, this is the path that the munition wagon train took because it had a cargo to deliver. And that cargo had to go into this bunker by these massive beams that you see up in the roof there. But if I turn to the right, boom. This is the start of a little journey back in time where you're gonna join us and see what a massive German gun emplacement looks like inside. And this is the first little clue of what you're gonna expect. Massive ventilation gear coming out from the floor here. And you can see all the fixtures that was upon a time was there. You can even see the pencil marks for the workers who installed all of these fittings and they are everywhere. And that is the German tidiness to make sure that everything will end up in the right position. And they were on the millimeter. Okay, so what we have here is like one, two, three, four stations where the wagon would come in. These slots would open, and when these slots opens, you will be able to load the huge artillery shell rounds, which are six, seven hundred kilos. You'll be able to load them in here.
And the train could either load from this station, and that will be maybe gunpowder, the, the huge rounds, sacks, and then it could come to this place, and that might have been the uh, shell tip, come to this place. This might have been where they loaded off the huge, huge uh, shell casings. And when you come over to this place, you have the last position where you have the beam, where the um, offloading would happen. And see, there's a door, and there's even these small shutters here. So you can shut not only the uh, upper part, but also the lower part. And when you can con continue over here, there are no more offloadings, and you can see basically how thick and how insanely enforced uh, or reinforced this place is. And you have another one of these rooms. It's absolutely the same as the other one, but you have to see something here. See the grid pattern there? There are numbers. There is a ton of what could have been information written onto this, or either that, they used the grid pattern to simplify the installation of the gear. How complex does it have to be? It's just to drill some holes. But look at that. That is absolutely crazy. So, but now we're going into the place where they store the munition. And after that, we're actually going to go inside the bunker itself and see where the crew stayed. Is it possible to get inside there? No. I'm going to go in this one because it's more open. So we don't have to struggle to get in. Here we go. We've seen these before, and uh, but it's very rare that you see this. Achtung, why is it unbelastet bedienen? And Ausgangs zum Geschutz. This is cool. This is the details you want to see untouched uh, German writing, Geschossraum. Geschossraum is absolutely spectacular. This is where they stored and could load the ammunition out to the gun pit, which is on the outside of this. But remember, the gun pit is actually fully covered with soil and dirt and crap. So on top of us now, there are probably like 10,000 tons of sand and stuff. You see there? That is beautiful. This is the cartridge. So this spot is where they load off the cartridge, which is actually written or painted blue up there. The massive, super big uh, cast, no, sorry, the brass uh, cartridge will go off on this hoist. As we come to the other hoist, you will see that there are different types. Normally, you'll be able to go out here, but if you have a look there, it is completely filled in. It is absolutely 100% completely filled in, and that's not a place you want to go. You can see that on the roof here, this is where they would uh, trolley the huge shells and casings. There was a drawing up there, was it? How can there be footprints on the wall there? Tell me that. How can there be footprints up on the wall? That is very strange. So, I'm gonna take a couple of photos of the writings there afterwards. And when you come here, you can see that suddenly this hoist was supposed to take the uh, shell tip that is marked with the blue. And I do feel that there could have been a drawing here. They did make some incredible murals, drawings on the wall here. But I'm happy just to see that text undisturbed for everyone to see actually. Absolutely wonderful. Passing through a set of doors, and again, out there would be the gun pit, but as I said, thousands of tons of rubble has been put on that. See here, 
Number 34. German writing again. I just love these details where you can actually see that and you kind of feel that you were watching the soldiers who wrote that. Let's check on this door on the outside here. Yeah, it's, it's there, but it's rusted. And again, this is a different color. You see that, Eagle Eyes? That is, the other one, which color was that? Blue. And this one is? Gray. Gray or black or silver or something? Silver. Yeah, it could be. But it has these band on the rear. Can you see that? They are yellow. So this could be an other type of artillery <laughs> shell tip. And you can see it, it's been cast in because they knew they will fill this area as well. But they filled the whole center of the gun emplacement, so too bad. Geschosswarm. Again, the original paint, uh, sorry, uh, writing is there. Did you see anything? Sorry? It freaking is. Someone painted over it. Yeah. You're absolutely right. There's an outline of the German Adler under there. It is. Actually, seen that in other bunkers. It's definitely the Reich Adler. Eagle wings up there. Very well spotted, Eagle Eyes. This way. This way. Last door. Last door. And there again, you have the casing on the top, so you have the two outer ones or casings. Maybe that is just to remind the crews that you're not gonna bring a 600 kilo tip here, <laughs> you're just gonna bring the casing. Or maybe this was for the gunpowder, because it consisted of a casing, massive bag of gunpowder, and then the tip. I can actually feel a draft, holy medoli. Normally, if you open this door and check out there, you'll see the gun pit. Only thing you'll see now is like millions of tons of whatever. Check it out, Eagle Eyes. See out there. <coughs> Sorry. I'm still struggling with COVID, but uh, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So, how do we get into the rest of this place. Maybe the green boot farm. Because this is only the uh, gun emplacements and the gun pit stuff. How do we get in there? Wait, 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 let me see. How do we get into the... Let's see if there are other entrances, because this is just the powder, gun tips, uh, all of that, where the gun kind of action was. We want to see if it's possible to get inside to see where the soldiers were. I'm getting a bit confused right now, but it's okay. I have to blame COVID. <laughs> On the outside here, we found this. I'm not sure whether this is a uh, I think it's a ventilation shaft for the bunker. But we are trying to figure out if there are any ways we get in inside. Hmm. All right, let's continue and see if we can find this. There should be somewhere else where we can get in. If we're lucky, I'm not sure if we are, but it should be. This is like a secondary level entrance. That is probably the gun pit entrance. But that is filled in, that's why we couldn't get there. So that is a pile of dirt, millions of tons of dirt, which some... Oh my goodness, they actually filled the complete gun pit with, uh, with soil. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. But this is cool. There is a shutter inside the bunker. You see that? You've seen some of the other videos. You can see that we have been inside this from completely trash smashed and really torpedoed inside to the ones that are pretty nice, actually. And some of the fittings are actually even here. And uh, 
different kind of small rooms here and there. But this, I think I can recognize. I think this is the generator and uh, it's actually tiled. See here? A huge room with uh, so many fixtures. There was electricity and all kinds of gear, generators, gurgling diesel to charge and you know do all of that. Wow. Massive yellow. The, the uh, pipes were very often like yellow, um, color coded red, blue, green, yellow. And tons of uh, tiles on the floor everywhere. And you will probably have a uh, second room here for generator and stuff. Also, this room is tiled. They really knew what they were doing. They wanted to keep the place tidy. And they knew by using tiles, it doesn't matter if you kind of drop down some oil or some fluids, it can very easily be wiped off. This is a pretty big room, to be honest. So we are coming here. There's another one. And there seems to have been maybe a little fire. And every time I see this, I go absolutely getting so irritated. So something once upon a time burned in here. And that's what you can see in uh, one of the uh, bunkers that we visited earlier. It was so destroyed. It was so destroyed by fire everywhere. And I really don't know if there's gonna be more of that in here. Another pedestal. A little bit of fire. Yeah, could have been a little bit. What's going on here? What are they doing here? Trying to smash through the floor? Why are there like tens of thousands of bottle pieces? This is more than crap, I think. That's got nothing to do with German stuff, that's for sure. Massive pipes everywhere off the wall. So, we were there, we were there, and we are coming up from here. No, that's the generator. This hallway is pretty, it's pretty amazing, to, if you ask me. It's so spacious, at the same time, so many technical things had to be in here that when everything was inside, it was almost like fully cramped. But I'm very glad to see that there are paint here and uh, you can see some colors. This is where we came in. I'm very glad we found that entrance actually. And now we're gonna get into the crew quarters. And the crew quarters, they just consist of a ton of different kind of rooms. And again, a ton of the, look at that flange there. And that huge spider, I almost touched it. Look at that beast. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's go to the other room. <laughs> we don't like spiders. This is interesting. This is actually a fire alarm. There was a little glass window here, and you can actually see some of the pieces of the glass window been broken many, many years ago. So you could set up the fire alarm. And in here you can also actually see something that I really enjoy. See this uh, color scheme around the doors and everything? That is cool. They will be painted, not lined with uh, uh, wood liners. officer's room. This could very easily have been the officer's room, that's correct with a bed. This would be lined with the uh, panels. You can see some of my other videos. We visit one of these, which are in pristine condition with full interior. It's a museum. And you can also see that they have scraped off the wall and they found, was it seven or nine layers? Just imagine that, seven or nine layers of paint in something that was kind of just for like five years. What's going on? Why did it change so much? Did they get some letters from home from their wives saying you have to change the color every year? <laughs> These are also uh, different kind of officers' uh, living quarters. And when you get to the bigger hallways like this, this could be like a 15 guys room. And uh, I'm gonna show you a picture right here so you can see how this looked when the, it was actually fully loaded with the gear. Is that cool or what? So instead, you can see more of my videos showing that. 
So yeah, they're just rooms, but it's pretty interesting to go through and check out the different layouts. And inside here, you can almost see what was on the wall. You see all of that there has got colors. But that means that this room was actually red. And all of this has come down and you can see that all of the uh, wooden type of uh, back, um, these vertical lines of wood, they held that. That is exactly what was here. And they worked so hard 24-7 to keep these places dry. But in the end, you know, if they shut off the equipment, it had to run like 24-7 to keep these places, uh, uh, what you consider, reasonably dry. But, oh, massive ventilation. That's why they have to circulate so much air and heat the air. But uh, I read stories about soldiers saying that uh, what? Saying that this is one of the egg Why is there light there? Can you go outside? Why didn't we see that? I don't believe it. We could have gone in there. <laughs> okay. This room here. Oh, that's rusted. Oh, no Completely there's rusted. No okay. Oh, that no, shutter no. is not moving. <laughs> so, you can see as well, this is the entrance area. You can see paint scheme right away. I want to see if we can find the showers and the bathrooms. I think they are over here. There's a little lower room. I like this because there's no bathroom. This is the bathroom. This should be the bathroom. I think. Where are the tiles? Yeah. See there? That is most definitely the bathroom. There's a lot of sinks here. What is the writing on the wall there? They're actually writing on the wall as well. That's not original, that I can tell you right away. But you can see it was posh. They had tiles. And the tiles come down from the wall. People want them. We never tear them off, but if they're down like this and someone has kind of taken them off, you know, I don't mind taking a couple of the pieces to give, nice give, give to some nice supporters of things, so I think that is coming with us. We didn't rip it off. It was actually just laying there. But it's a nice little thing to, to kind of put in a, a diorama. Let me show you a little video here. So that is what we do. We give back. And how cool would it be to have one tile that was once upon a time in a German huge gun bunker. That is cool, huh? Wow, look at that. This is the uh, shower room, and there are, <clears throat> let me see, what is all this crap here? This is where there used to be tiles. As I said, no tiles here anymore. So it was pretty posh. They had hot water, cold water, electricity. They had all the things that you can, Imagine and the locals here when they came in after the war and saw all the things that the Germans had heated the, all the bunkers are heated by water ready radiators so they heated water and they had electricity lights everywhere so locals couldn't believe their eyes when they came to this position and said what the so the Germans really had it posh when they lived in these bunkers, even though, you know, it was not exactly comfortable, but compared to what was around here with the locals, they really had a beautiful place to be. So I think we're almost coming to an end of the living quarters. It's very strange to be here, actually, because it's like you're, you're walking back in time, in a way. And every time 
I come into these places, it's like, it's weird because this is where soldiers spent several years and they didn't have a choice. They were commanded, they were told to go and live down in a bunker and do as you're told. And for us, this is a living quarter for 15 guys, actually. Yeah. See if we can find another little picture here. So inside here, this is home away from home for Alfred, Wilhelm, Andreas, Helmut. They were all here. And uh, you can see the panels are actually coming down there. This is on the wall. But uh, sometimes we could connect the dots between a soldier and a specific bunker. You remember we did that on the beach? I'm gonna put a link in, a video, in the video description if you wanna check it out afterwards. There will be a connection for a uh, German soldier, Gerard, and the specific bunker that he served in. And he also actually returned after the war and he visited that specific bunker. And on his visit, people learned so much by him telling what was where. He can actually go right into the bunker, which was excavated during those days, and he pinpointed exactly where he worked, what he did, where he slept. He, that's an amazing story. And uh, if you check out our video, you can see exactly uh, that we go to that bunker where Gerhard worked. And, uh, it's a very special feeling to go down there on the beach and the bunkers are sinking into the ocean. They're actually being eroded away and uh, in a few years they will not be there. They will be gone completely. So be fast if you want to see them. Yeah, you have to be quick if you want to see it. And the Eagle Eyes just said also that, uh, remember, these bunkers, they were built for a thousand year Reich, but they're even Many of them on the Atlantic Wall are gone. They are in the ocean floor. They're just completely gone by Our erosion. Yeah, so in a thousand years, the archaeologists will say, what the heck is that? And then history lives on. Different kind of rooms. And I think, where is that? Oh, that is out to the gun pit. It seems like it is possible to sneak around out there, but I really, really, really don't want to go there. Because, oh, yeah, if that comes down, then you, you're going you're gonna to die, actually. So that's out of the question. So let's see if we can find the entrance here. And I really hope you're enjoying this. Yes, we're really, 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 really exciting bunker. Yeah, it's a really exciting bunker. We never knew it was open. And we're very, very glad that it was. And uh, it is an amazing honor and pleasure for us to be able to show you this and uh, share all of these images with you. I have to say, we do a lot of travel, a lot of research, and uh, we, spend the money. we spend a lot of money, that's for sure. And, but when we come across things like this, we just have to do it. Even though I got COVID now, it doesn't matter. We need to share this. So thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. And uh, hope you have a very nice day. And we'll definitely meet you out there in the next adventure.